Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to work with the index page now to get the, the data and display all the posts belong to this user. I have created some posts for this user using the fake filler here. And now let's open first the backend. And here let's say dollar sign post to be equal with auth user post order by the yes. And let's return response JSON the data. For now, I'm going to remove the paginate. Okay. And I think we are good. Now let's go on the front end on the post index. Here I'm going to work with on mounted hook. Okay, and here when this hook is going to mount, or this component is going to mount, I'm going to get the user, the post, and I'm going to use the access instance for that to get all the posts. We need to say slash dashboard slash post. And I'm going to make this an async and here await. And also I'm going to create a constant and say data. Okay, then let's for now just console log the data. I'm going to save and open the browser. And we have an array with all the posts. Okay, if I refresh, yeah. And we have a body, create a data, and all of them. Okay, let's create now a constant here, say post, which is going to be equal with a ref. And initially it's going to be an empty array. Okay, and then instead of console log here, or we can say directly post to be equal with uh, the await. Now I'm going to create also a type for post, so type post and ID, title, and the body. I think we are okay for that because we are going to change that we are going to work with the uh, resources. So let's leave it like this. Maybe not the body, but the is published. Let me just come here and we have the is published. So let's say is underscore published for now, which is a boolean. And now let's use that type here. So type post or null. And yeah, we can say here initially to be null. And let me just console log the post value. And we have the data. With this array. So instead of this one, we can say const data. We distract the data and then here I'm going to assign the post value to be equal with the data. And then if I just console log the post value here, now we have an array. Okay. Let's remove this and let's scroll down. ID title category. Uh, ID title, not category, but uh, is published or just saying published here and here is going to be the actions the edit and the delete so i'm going to say actions and let's remove two of the trs leave only one and also this one i'm going to cut and say template v if post uh not like this let's just place this tr and here i'm going to say v4 post in post passing the key post id and display the id here double curly braces post id let me just save this and see 
yeah, we have the ID. Okay, next we have the title. So display the post title. And here the is published. Post is published. And here is it to be the edit and delete buttons. So for now I'm going to say edit delete like this. Uh, yeah, so we have six, seven, so on. The publish for all of them is false. Let's go and create new one. Use fake filler. Say create. Now we have the ID eight. Let's go and create new one. I want to say first post. Pass something here. Create and now we have the first post. Okay, friends. But that's it all about this video just to display the post and also just let me just inspect the elements and go on network if i refresh okay let's go on the dashboard we get the user make the user if i go home and then go to the dashboard again we make a user so we need to fix that because i think i forget that are uh, not here but on the web store we have the dashboard out dashboard let's zoom in this so instead of just saying out get user we can check here or we can go in the store out.ts and when we get the user let me scroll down yeah here we try to get the user. We can say if is logged in value is true, not is false, but if that is true, I'm going to return. Otherwise, try and catch. Now let me just open again here. Go to dashboard, home. Go to post. Here we make a get request to post. Okay, if I go to dashboard, we don't make to get the user because the user is logged in okay now whenever we navigate on the post we make a get request to get all the posts okay friends uh, that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much